No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. I'm actually controlling GameCube games directly off the Wii U gamepad. And I think this is by far the best Wii U hack out there. Here's how I did it. Unlike the original Wii, the Wii U doesn't support GameCube games right out of the box. If you try to insert a GameCube disc in, it just spits it right out. But with some soft modding in the Wii Wii, playing GameCube games digitally can be achieved. So I remember hacking the Wii Wii or the virtual Wii in my first Wii U to play GameCube games on it. But I was kind of disappointed that you couldn't actually control the games using the gamepad because the Wii Wii locks it. And that's where this hack comes in. So I think it goes without saying, but the hack requires you to have a hacked Wii U. I hacked mine using the indexing hack. It's not only free, but more importantly, it won't break your Wii U if you mess something up. Once I hacked the Wii U, I had to use some apps to get the GameCube games to boot from the Wii U without having to go into the Wii Wii. The first set of apps are used on the Wii U itself. The first app is the Mocha Custom Firmware. It's used to boot into the custom firmware after you load up indexing. You won't be able to play the games without the custom firmware, so it's very necessary. The second app is WUP or WUP Installer. It's used to install WUP files onto the Wii U, so the GameCube games can be recognized as Wii U apps. So now with those apps out of the way comes the big question. How do you get the GameCube ISOs installed onto the Wii U? It's not as easy as dragging and dropping them into a folder on a USB. That's where this last app comes in. It's called Techno Moon's Wii VC Injector. It's a Windows app that can turn GameCube and Wii games into web installable apps. So you take your GameCube ISO or your Wii WBFS file and you run it through the app and then it turns it into a WUP file. Then that WUP file can be used to install the game onto the Wii U. So after everything is set up correctly, you can go into WUP installer on the Wii U while in the custom firmware, that's very important, and then just install the games either on the built-in flash or on a USB. I tried both but just ended up going with the USB because apparently it's safer. Then while still in the custom firmware, you can now just open the game. You're asked if you want to use the gamepad, obviously you'd want to press yes, and then that's it. You're now playing and controlling GameCube games right off the Wii U gamepad. Now there are two big reasons why this hack is really cool. The first reason is, I don't know if you've noticed, but I didn't have to use a TV or a Wiimote in order to get the games running. In fact, I don't even have my Wii U connected to a display. It's just plugged into power and it has the USB to hold the games. And so it just makes it super convenient to get into the games because all you need is the gamepad. Now the second big reason is like the icing on the cake for this hack. Every GameCube game runs natively on the Wii U, meaning there's no emulation. The way these games would run on a GameCube is exactly how they run on here. And honestly, I think this is the best way to play these games portably if you don't want to do some extensive of hardware modding. By the way, let me know if you want me to compare this method to an actual portable Wii because you know I built one. Actually, I think that might be my next video. One thing I will say though is the Wii U screen, especially with that resistive touch layer, looks a bit outdated. But I mean, it still looks good and the games are still perfectly playable. Also, I'll link a video that really helped me get all of this working in the description. It really is kind of tricky. It goes over the setup process in more detail. But yeah, let me know if you decide to try this or if you've already tried it. Uh, I want to know what you guys think as well. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. I thought it'd just be cool to share and I'll see you in the next one. Later.